welcome to Tax TV, Neil, Alice, as always, Tax TV, and Ryan the Bearded Tyke. Hi, Ryan. How are you well, mate? Yeah, uh, not a bad start to the weekend. Uh, we'll get on about uh, match reaction about Rotherham game. Uh, early kickoff, uh, fair few fans here, good following by Rotherham yeah. fans. So, again, fair play to them with it being earlier uh, kickoff and that. But uh, a few eyebrows raised, Ryan, um, and I have one included, if I'm being honest. Yeah, starting 11. Uh, Umphrey's and we touched on this on, on preview what changes. Uh, Umphrey's on bench, Phillips in. Uh, apart from that, it was the same starting 11, but I was surprised that it rested uh, Umphrey's, but fair play, it turned out in game. We'll get to it, proved to be a yeah. bit of a massive stroke. Yeah, I mean, I, it's um, I was very surprised. Um, I thought that maybe it's got to be a you maybe it's kind of a bit of a knock or maybe he's a bit tired. You know what I mean? Uh, but it turned out uh, Daryl Clark in, in interview afterwards was just saying that he pulled him in the day before and, and explained it. He says obviously we're happy about not playing, but he just mm. felt he just felt that Max Waters could stretch the back line or something. Isn't it? Is that after I think that's what he said in his post match interview thing? Mm. But I have to say I probably didn't agree with it, but you know it worked out then, Neil. You know so. Um, yeah, I, I mean, if you are, but I, I, were, I were hoping Adam Phillips were going to come back in. Mm. Um, I think when he's fit, he's got to play. For, for you know, for me, he's, he's, he's one of his better players. So, but other than that, yeah, it was it just like I say it was just a bit of a bit of an eye opener, really, wasn't it? Yeah, starting eleven, pretty strong. And when you look on bench as well, uh, yeah. you know, be, be kind of an impact sub, which we will get onto. Uh, obviously, remembering Sunday coming up um, and. Great for you know before, you know the 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 lead out of speech, the, you know the the trumpet yeah. last last stand and uh, see some some veterans with flags on that it kind it of and, and it was really good to see him get a good step. You know the whole ponty end stood up and clapped mm. him as they went and cheered him as they went past, uh, which was really great to see. Um, so it's, it's the, you know it's the very least we can do. Yeah. Um, made a bit of a pig's ear of it, didn't they? Because it was supposed to be poem, then then oh, yeah. last post, then yeah. minute silence, but we went. We went last post, then a clap, then mm. then the poem, and then we did a minute silence. So we got it done in the end. We got, we got it done in the end, but it was a bit topsy turvy, wasn't it? Uh, but that's the important thing is that we that we actually do it and you know and, and give you they give that marker respect. So we got there in the end. Yeah, and fair play to Rotherham as well because they observe a minute silence as well uh, impeccably. So again, yeah. full full uh, full praise to uh, Rotherham. Any Rotherham fans watching? You yeah, know, uh, just over three thousand you brought in it. You, you I know, saw I saw quite a that. few things online, Neil, that said that. Um, you know, I know that the I think they've got some sort of planned protest or they were going to protest mm. at the game because of, of how things are going so far this season. Mm. But they did say online, please don't do it during the minute silence. Yeah. So I'm really pleased to see that and obviously the vast majority of people are gonna are gonna respect it out the normal. Not, yeah. Yeah. Not fair normal play. Gonna be, but that's that that were nice to see online as well that make sure that we respect the um the minute silence, etc. So that was, yeah. that was good to see. Fair play to all fans and fair play to Bounds FC as well. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it on socials, but the corner flag, a nice touch by uh, Bounds Football Club. Mm. If you haven't seen it, I advise you to get on X. Uh, it's a white flag with poppies running down one side of it, the Bounds badge, and underneath it just says simply it remembers Bounds FC remembers. So yeah. if you haven't seen it, see it on X. It's very fitting tribute, and I think that picture kind of sums it all up with class. fallen poppies and that. So, a bit of touch of class by a bounds AFC, um, and full praise to them and all concerned what making it making it work, right? So, we'll get to the game, yep. Uh, we'll get on about Mr. Evans a bit <laughs> later on. Uh, but to be honest, if I'm being honest, I think for the first 10 minutes, Rotherham sent to be on front foot, yeah, front yeah, start, if yeah, for the first 10 minutes, Ryan. Agree, yeah. I thought I thought they started well, Rotherham. Mm. They looked like, look like they were up for it. We looked a bit um, not half asleep, but they had. I mean, you know, the first ten minutes, it were all them on it. We, yeah. we, we didn't seem to get all that ball, and and, and uh, we didn't do anything from an attacking standpoint. So, I mean, they didn't really trouble us goal. I think they had one shot that looked like it was potentially on target, but I think Robbo blocked it. So, mm. but yeah, they, they looked. They started lively, and then once we once we get started getting into the game, then it was just it were all Barnsley, and I think. From 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 ten minutes onwards, we, we 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 dominated that game. I thought at times, especially in first half, I thought we were brilliant. There was some really really nice football, and how much space did Georgie Gent have down our left? 
Oh, yeah, I'm glad you said that. I want to come to that in a minute. Corrected it in M, but it was all the time. <laughs> Mm. All the time, he were in acres and acres of space. Mm. All the time, it was just every time he got ball, it, it could just run at me. It were, um, you know, obviously I'm, I'm surprised um, Evans didn't they, didn't correct it, but yeah, you know, it's, it worked out. It worked out better for us in the end, didn't it? But um, yeah, um, I thought for staff were I thought we were brilliant, mate. I thought we played really well. Um, I felt a bit at the time. I felt a bit unjust about um, um, Russell's second goal, but I watched Sky highlights and he, he, he wore a bit. He'd just gone. He just went a fraction. He went, right, he, went a fraction. He, went, yeah. he went a fraction too early. Mm. Half of his body were off. Were, were, were offside. So it's a good shout, really, from line mm. But you know, DKD probably should have scored his header again. Great mm. move outside where we put a really good passing move together, and it looked like that one had just got away from Russell. But he yeah. managed to stretch his big long legs out, put Georgie Gent in, he's pulled ball back, Ed, it should be 2-0, it should be two nil, shouldn't it? for a great bit mm. of football. But um, other than that, I mean, we were really good, mate. We were really good. Um, I mean, when, when we went for, for me, in first day, I'm glad you said that about Georgie Gent, right? Because in first day, I, I was like watching certain players and I kept looking over and it was interesting to see every time we had a corner or a set piece, yeah, I'm looking at Luke O'Connell. And Luke O'Connell is looking at Conor Huron. They seem to change places, Clark mm. and uh, Connell. Uh, sorry, Clark and Huron. And I'm, I'm and I'm like thinking, this is good because Conor Huron's reading game as a midfielder and is like advising him. And then later on, as game went on, I didn't see Luke uh, look as much to bench. He was making his own mind up and calling players and pulling them back and getting Rob over here. And, mm. and, and, and I'm thinking, he's learning. I think I think Luke O'Connell's growing more into a captain like now, that bit of consistency. Yeah. Unfortunately, he picked up his fifth booking, which was a booking, if I'm being honest. But it was a good booking for the team at the time yeah. when he clipped him. But I get I, I get we we, we uh, killed him and all because anywhere else, apart from that goalkeeper throw, he'd have been in. Yeah. It was just one of them it's where it was. It's a good save, yeah. to be fair, um, to Craig Dawson. It's a good save, but um, he should have gone back across the other way. And you could see he were gutted, he'd not scored it. But oh, you yeah. know, what, 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 what were pleasing with the build up play and, and the football yeah. that got us to that point? Cause it, were, it, it, were, it were good. There was some really nice stuff to watch. And, and really, a lot of it was quite simple, Neil. You know what I mean? It was just simple triangles, but sometimes simple football is so effective when you do it well. I thought ball retention, Ryan, were a lot better as well. Yeah. Yeah, Watts has held it up really well. He was holding it up really well. They won it first half where he was completely on his own. Mm. And he got put down to the left and he held three of them off and yeah. until, until cavalry come and, he, and, and then he put it back. So I thought, I actually thought Max had a good game. Mm. Mm. I thought Max had a good game. John Russell's brilliant at doing it. Um, yeah. He still manages to strip up over a blade of gla- grass every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> um, then the odd way would pass. But Again, Russell is so good at that. He's so good at holding up because he's really he's a, he's a big, strong lad, and he? he might be slow, but he's really strong. So um, good to see him get his goal as well. Yeah, uh, he did, a bit of the scramble. So, yeah, yeah he deserved, absolutely deserved it. Yeah, yeah. I think first half we were unlucky because to not to go to an auto like I said that with Russell yeah. uh, second. I didn't. I haven't seen the offside on replay, but at the time I'm thinking, oh, what what a time to get it just before half time. Yeah. You know, because it definitely altered their team talk at Rotherham. Zaz, it had been a bit more easier. But again, looking at the first half, I was surprised. I said to my son and a few mates, a few of his mates, and I'm like, hey, because look at Georgie Gent, he's got. And I'm I'm, I'm thinking, surely they're going to correct that. Hey, because they're running and running. Yeah. And I saw it more in the second half, obviously, of what, you know, uh, we changed size, didn't we, for uh, kick off and that, I won't toss. Yeah. But we get on to the second half, the amount of time, and this is, um, for me, this, I don't know what every, your thoughts on this, Ryan, and people what's watching, going to be watching this, let me know your thoughts and comments about this. The art of slide tackling, I think you should watch Georgie Gent because what his timing you? is yeah. absolutely brilliant. Not a foul, it's brilliantly timed, sliding tackle, fair tackle, yeah. and I'm thinking it's, a behold to see because I have not seen a play do that for yonks for yeah. absolute ages. To time it's such perfect and not just like roll about, but to get up and reposition his same. Honest to God, mate, Georgie Gent is is growing in stature and I, I love him. I think he's brilliant, mate. He's he's outstanding. He's outstanding. Uh, when he first came, he looked just took took a while just to find his feet. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. But even, even Daniel Clark said he'll be fine. He'll be mm. fine. He just needs to find his feet. He'll be a, he'll be a great player, Georgie. And and uh, once it once it once he's come on and he's got going, mate. He's out. Oh, he's, mate. Like, he's like a throwback. He's an old fashioned winger. Mm. He's got pace. He wants to take him on. He's exciting. He likes to get the ball in. But like you say, that slide tackles out. Oh, it's he gets it right mate. every single time. He yeah. runs. He, he gets his pace. He runs alongside him. Times it. Boom. Slide tackle. Yeah. Um, and the one last night where he did one, he actually managed to keep it in, didn't he? he slid in, yeah, he did. Turned it yeah, round, yeah, yeah. Uh, for, it weren't even in selection for man at match from club on Twitter. Unbelievable, mate. It, it, well, everybody in comments were like, Jen, Jen. And I me and yeah. Oscar said last night when we were watching game, both, they both said, George Gent, man at match for me, man at match by a mile. And yeah, I'm going to get to that later on, but now you mentioned it, yeah, George Gent for me by a mile, you know. Yeah. I mean, Phillips, yeah, man at match again. I said. Said to my son, I said, obviously, sponsor might not have his shirt, so he might just want that. I thought Russell had another decent game. Yeah. I thought Luke O'Connell had been a captain, you know. I thought Roberts at back, he marshalled and he yeah. talked and he, he, he you know, he organised what, what Fred Rotherham did offer. But for me, Georgie Gent, uh, honest to God, I think we've, he's like proper fan his home and, 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 and yeah. he's like, uh, Fanny's spot here. Uh, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot to really knock him out off of that spot for me right now. Oh, absolutely, man. I, I don't. I don't think there's anybody um, getting that left wing back. I think. I think to be fair, the whole back five, or whatever you want to say, back three with wing backs, whatever, whatever you, you want to say, is is cemented in place now at the moment. Is that is that your starting? You know, is because people I like say so, we mate. play better without Pines, and you know. It's a bit un- unkind on Pines because when he's coming, he's a bit big unit. But I think at minute, like what you said, Via, you need that understanding at back. And, and fair play to Ben Killip and all. Yeah, but, yeah Ben Killip made a gr- another great save, mate. Another yeah. great save. I, I, ben, he's, he's, he's cementing his place in goal at minute for me, he's Ben. I don't, I don't think there's anybody taking that shirt off him right at this minute. And I think he's playing well. So, you know what I mean? What's your take on that? Just on about goalkeeper, and we'll get yeah. back to the game. What's your take on that, Ben? With Gabby not even in uh, squad? Um, has he not made squad? I didn't see squad. You want on bench. You want on bench. It, it was Jacks. It, it was uh, Smith. I think he might be going back in January then, mate. Mm. I think he could be going back in January, and it's right that it's right that he's on that he's not that, that Jackson Smith's on bench. Yeah. It's right for me that they're, they're our, you know, both Ben Killip and and Jackson Smith are our, are our players. It's a bit of a weird the, shame the if only, it was back to way, Chelsea. The only way to to get a, a to have a lone player, especially in the position like goalkeeper, um, is when they're significantly better than what you've got. You yeah. know, like when when we brought Matt um, um, Liam Robertson, Robertson last season, you know. Um, um, so I mean, well, I know we brought Ali Isaac in, but uh, because Brad Collins were injured, but you know, Ali Isaac, he, he were brilliant. Mm. I mean, I'm sure that he could be a good keeper in future. Slanina, uh, you know, Chelsea didn't pay ten million for a for, for now, but I just think um, he's not right for us at the minute. I think I think League One is just a bit rough and tough and a bit too much for him. And you could see his, his confidence had been shot to bits. And I just think he's nowhere near as good as he's nowhere near as good as kill it. Mm. Um, you know, and Killip struggled while he's been here, but I think this season, I can't, I can't fault him really. No, I can't fault him so far. He's he's doing he's doing really well. So he's probably seen an opp- opportunity now, hasn't he? To be fair, yeah, he's got hold of it, mate. And he's you know what I mean. He's had two clean sheets. We've not been beat since he's been at goal. So an assist for Humphries as well. <laughs> yeah, assist for Humphries. Yeah, so yeah, so so so, 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 so crack on. But I just think that with, with Pines. I do like Donovan. I thought I like his I like his attitude for playing for us. I like that he's got mm. a lot of passion for playing for us. I think he's good at box. I think he's good in air, and he's got he's you know he's always a goal threat on on, on set pieces. But mm. you know, Robert Robert Robbo's a much better centre back. Mm. Um, you know, middle at back three. Robbo's just he looks so good at minute, doesn't he? He looks so good. He looks so calm, and composed. He's been brilliant. He's been one of outs. You know, he's been one of the most consistent performers since Man United game. Mm. And he's come back and he just looks great, does does Robbo. It looks really, really good. Um, and I'm really pleased because you know a lot of Birmingham fans are saying, "Ah, oh, he's crap." You know what I mean? I thought mm. I don't want to come back and spoil his sort of his legacy at Barnsley, but he's been he's been outstanding. And then MDG and 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 um, and Earl yeah. just the the they're good at bringing ball out. They might make odd defensive error, but Earl's so good with ball at his feet. 
How many times does he get it and he gets it back and he sees a bit of space and he's into that space and he, he, he creates a lot of space because he looks like he's going to give it and then he goes and he creates and he'll push it out to Jen or he'll push it back out or push it to the other side. Mm. Um, and Pines is nowhere near that with his feet, unfortunately, mate. He's nowhere near as good as his, his sweet ball at his feet like that. So mm. I think that back three for me is, is as it should be at the moment. Is, is. Yeah. yeah. So getting on to the second half, I mean, Rotherham, Bay Med. <laughs> You know, also no changes, but subs coming on didn't really mm. make an impact. I'm, I saw Jordan Yugel go off, and I don't think he were eight impressed. I don't think he could wait to get off. He didn't really yeah. acknowledge fans. There's something wrong there, mate. I think Steve Evans has got to go, Neil. Yeah, I think, I think if for, for Rotherham to to um, to advance in this league or do out in this league this season, I think Steve Evans has got to go. It's mm. it's, it's time over. Somebody said somebody said in chat group uh, in group chat, didn't they? Said that um, they'd seen. Um, Rotherham chairman, obviously it must have been yeah. Saturday West Ham in, in direct as well. It's going absolutely sparing for staff. So mm. I think I think I think his days might be numbered. And I think if for Rotherham to move forward this season, I think they've got to get rid of him. You know, when you're on we, we, we all heard their fans last night. I, I mean how often were they booing? Half time. It was it were intentional for going, you know, it yeah. full time. I, I, and I purposely watched because obviously my second goal come in, we'll get on to second goal. I purposely watched and some were filtering away. But I saw a vast majority walking over to our left as you look at it from Ponty, ready for him going down to I'm thinking, then you saw Stewart's going over, then you saw Copper's going over, I thought yeah. he's going to get a bad RG, like, you know, coming yeah, on to it. Were, but... You know, they were, they were poor nail with other yeah, the majority of the game. They, I think the only negative I can say from last night is that we didn't score more. Mm. Um, you know, we probably should have had it, you know, uh, Phillips hit bar. Yeah. With a couple of disallowed. Um, um, Philo had that one where he's had that say there. Craig Dawson's made a great save from that moment where he's um, bumped for the back heel into his yeah. path. And he's hit it. Keeper's made yeah. a good save. Um, so you know it could have been it could have been a lot more. But by the way, that Stephen Humphrey's goal, that, that outstanding. Yeah, and we'll get on to that. I mean, again, as game went on, and I were always saying, I went, we, we just need a second. We just need a yeah. second here, just to ease nerves. And to be fair. And I've got to give credit to Dal Clark for this. I was surprised. I'm looking at subs. I'm thinking, how many subs are going to bring on? And it, it, you know, when he brought Humphries on, I'm thinking, oh, he's going to fetch about two or three on here. He didn't go bar me. He, he did not go bar me at subs this time. And I'm thinking, hmm, that's that's interesting to see because I thought he's going to bring Jalo on. He's going to, you know, for this. And, and yeah. I'm thinking, no, he's game managing this out. And fair play, Humphries came on. Ungr- we know what he can do. We know he's up for it. Yeah. And like I said, I'm I'm sat in Ponte like you are when I saw you uh, yesterday. Mm. And Killips, it, it was like like a long ball, but it was Umphrey's onto it and that finish. And I have watched you back several times that on yeah. different platforms. What a crap that is, mate. From he's, weird he's, he's, he's weak foot. At angle, yeah, yeah. He's weak foot, wow. mate. And he, what he's done is just shoulder defender out where he used his strength because he's, he's a unit in here as well. Mm. And, and then what a finish. We've not had um, a striker like Stevie Humphries for a, for, for, for a good while, mate. So we're walking out and my son said, yeah, look, it reminds me of young James it, Norwood. Yeah. He like, yeah, but I think I think he's I think he's probably better than Norwood, mate. Mm, mm. I think he's more talented. He's, 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 he's certainly faster than Norwood. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's got he's got bursts of lightning pace and he's just mm. so good with his feet. He's so good with both feet. He's, he's really, really talented. He's a really, really talented player. He's got He's got a lot of skill. Mm. Um, it's been a while since we've had somebody up top that that's like that. You know, it, it, it can just pull that out, that bit of magic out, like that, like, like he did last night. Mm. That's an outstanding finish that with his weak foot. He's absolutely thundered it in, and it and it's flown in. So, um, so yeah, yeah. I mean, overall, mate, I can't can't knock the performance at all. I thought I thought we played really well. Daryl Clark did mention about it not being his best performance, but. I don't think it was that far off, mate. I'll be honest. Say, I, thought, yeah. I, thought, I thought we were pretty. I thought we were pretty good last night. <laughs> yeah, I thought, yeah. I was surprised when he come out of that. I'm thinking, I will tell you something. I, I, you he know. were really pleased. He said we played really well. He said I don't think it was as as best performance of the season. Yeah. Uh, whereas I were actually on way home. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be proved right. I said I think that's probably the best I've seen us play. Yeah. I, I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. You know what? We've, we've game managed. You know, performance. Certain individuals were up there for man at match. A clean sheet, you know, a home win, which you know, a rival home win. And I'm thinking, do you know what? It's a decent weekend like now, it's starting to look good. And 
I, I was walking away. I'm thinking, I want more of these night, but you know, I want more of these. Or oh, well, like yeah. this kind of performance where not only did we performance of that, but we like game managed it. That, that that's the thing that we didn't for the last ten five minutes sit back and sit mm. deep, and we didn't do that. Which in the past we have done. We've gone one note up and think right, get out men behind the ball, soak it up. We didn't. Yeah. We were still looking for that pass. I mean. Fellow's passing first day when he cross volleyed it across pitch to Jens. Well, I'm like, I think he did it two or three times, mate, during the game. Outstanding. I you, if I'd have been in Premier oh, League, we'd have been raving ball. about it in Premier League for Yonks. Well, so the switch play, mate, were brilliant last night. Yeah, we're getting really good at the switch, and the switch, the switch passes at ninety percent of the time are accurate as well. Ever what? Finding sounds like they have done it past. It, you know, it, I'm not jinxing it, and I'm not getting ahead of myself, mate, but. We're playing really well at minute, Neil. The signs there, yeah. We're, yeah. we're playing really well at minute, mate. And Improving. Long may that continue, but we're, we we seem to be playing really well. The la all the lads are on it. Improving no game to game. I'm looking at and thinking, yeah, he's not, he's not, he's not playing well. Mm. Last few games I've watched, mate. I've not thought come away. You know, sometimes you come away and think, ah, he's had a crap game. He's played shite mm. today, whatever. I haven't thought of that about anybody. In fact, you know, I, I went. When we were way home with Carmi and our Oscar last night in car, we went all through it inside. I went, it's not bad, but everyone's had a good game. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's played well. Yeah. You know, everyone's been really, really on it. And we seem to be together as a team. So, whatever that that two week um, international break last time were absolute perfect timing for us because it allowed us to reset. It was like a reset button, wasn't it? Again, I'm not getting, get, you're not getting too giddy and getting no, ahead of myself, no. but. You know, if you look at the way we were playing when we started and then the way we were playing, certainly before international break, because it was shocking. Mm. And then after that, it's just like two different teams, two different teams. Yeah. The lads all seem to be enjoying what they're doing. They're playing as a team. They're playing as a team. They're playing for each other. Um, yeah. Long may that continue, mate, because yeah, it's really exciting at the minute. It's exciting. So. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, long well, mate, continue and totally agree with that. I think there's probably been some clear air talks, some better understanding going off for roles in certain areas, departments. And I think we've seen that on the transcendent pitch and full yeah. play to coaching staff. Because end of the day, we've had, them, we've had them lads, like I said, probably for about two week on, on the training pitch and we've been working on the own individual areas and making it come together. And you've seen it now, you've seen it as a starting level and you've seen it with, on the bench where certain players are coming off and making an impact and it's a nice situation to be in where the player is disappointed to be yeah. on bench rather than just accept it and I'm thinking that's fighting for your players, that's competition inside like, you know, you're seeing Killip, you know, you're seeing Max Waters vastly improved game, you know you're seeing certain players like step up to Mark you know, you look, Georgie Gent coming into his own now, but it was a bit of a struggle for him, I'm seeing Corey O'Keefe at right, right wing back yeah, I think he's starting to develop into is enjoying that role where he is, oh, he's and I think he's understanding. He's yeah, he's because right. if you think early on, a lot of folks say no, he's not being at it or okay, but where were he playing? Mm. He were all over the place, he wasn't he? he? Playing left wing back, and then he'd come yeah. on and play right, and he, you know what I mean. We just needed some solidity in the team, and and that's what we've got at the minute. We seem to have the right players in the right positions at the right play. The, the formation that he's got at the minute seems to be working lovely. Mm. It's. It's going the right way at the minute, mate. I don't want to jinx anything. No, no, no. You know, I'm not saying that we're, you know, we're not going to win every game before the end of the season, but it's just the way that we're playing is... It's the manner I'm playing, isn't it? Positive and it's nicer to... It's great to watch. It's exciting to watch. Mm. You know? We're it's the manner, isn't it? We're going to teams. Yeah. We're taking the game to teams. Um, mm. So, yeah. Yeah. Like I say, I'm buzzing at the minute, mate. Man at match. I mean, I think we've already covered that, but I mean, man yeah, at match, yeah. I mean, Georgie Gent. Yeah, Georgia Gent for me, mate. But, but, but he were brilliant. He were outstanding last night. Yeah, Georgia Gent for me. Defensively, uh, attacking wise, you know, I thought, yeah, outstanding, mate. And it, it, you know, it were also nice to have other players on pitch. You know, like you know, Phillips got man at match by a sponsor. You know, Russell I think Russell, line, Russell, yeah, yeah, he, he got again, a good game, so I don't, I don't begrudge at him at all. But no, no, I just thought Georgia Gent were. I thought he, he was, he, he were outstanding, mate. Georgie Gent, yeah. yeah. So, uh, we've both gone for Georgie Gent's arm at a match. Let us know your thoughts in comments below. Uh, clean sheet, a, a nice win against South Yorkshire rival. Steve Evans up to now is still in a job at Rotherham. Uh, we're interested to find out if there's any Rotherham fans that do comment on this, like your thoughts well, on game well, and that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, Looking at their uh, socials last night, Neil, I, I would suggest not. <laughs> mm, yeah. Last well, year to me, be an interesting weekend for him to see what happens come start at week. Uh, got to point there. I mean, if they're serious about going up this year, Rotherham, they've got to, they've got to, they've got to move on. I know no, he's I mean, well from it past. I think there's a bit, you know, there's that there, that nostalgia thing because he did so well from it past, but he's not. Some looking, of, he's not. Some of, looking, some of his, his comments were deluded, mate, weren't they? Oh, he said he, they said, he said on radio. We're on bat foot, we're on ropes, what, 20 minutes to play. I'm like, we're on ropes. have you watched a different game? They watched, they had one shot on target all game. You know, I'm thinking, come on. Hey, listen, I, I do, I'm, I'm not, because I don't, I've, like I said, I've got nothing personal against Rotherham. They're not like, I know they're, they, are, they are local to us, but they're not, I wouldn't say they were rivals. Um, but I just think, it's just, it's just deluded. If I were a fan, I wouldn't want to hear that. I'd want him to no. come out and say, yeah, that was crap. Because he was, they were, they weren't great. And mm. the fans, We'll tell you that because they they had enough. It's a, you know it's a long time, it's a long long time since I've been at, been at a football match. Um, but certainly at Oakwell, where away team have come and they bo- they were booing yeah. the game and also singing. You, you feel know, sorry for everyone because about not being that, yeah. and then and then also singing about you get they were singing you're getting sacked in the morning, mm. <laughs> you know, and you, usually that don't end well when your own fans are singing you're getting sacked in the morning. That's um, I think it's curtains in it. Really? I mean, me as a Barnsley fan, I look at such as like teams like Rotherham and Doncaster, and I can relate to them. Is it yeah. the, the the try to do it the, the best way? In a in a way, Sheffield United kind of do. But you look yeah. at Wednesday, and they think they're better than everybody. You know what I mean? And this yeah. other. But you look at such as like Rotherham, and I and I can relate to a lot of uh, pain what Rotherham fans are going through. Uh, watching that, we don't be doing the same, you know. And it's like Rotherham fans always a great following. Good, yeah. good, you know, good history at club and stuff like that, and you you feel for you feel the pain because, like you say, if if that had been such as like Daryl Clark or take it back, right, prime example, Neil Collins last season when he yeah. was coming out some stuff and when we're losing three notes and I think on Radio Sheffield he said, well, apart from us being three note down, I don't think we're a lot in, in game like I'm like, we're well, yeah. be three note down, mate. Really I've always wondered with it, Neil. It's, just, it's a strange thing for managers to say. Mm. Yeah, I we were all, well, it don't matter though. You've looked, you've been beat three, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's sat there. You've had, you know, it's sat there saying you dominate a game where you know if you look at the stats, Barnsley dominated the game significantly. Mm. If you've got eyeballs in your head, know anything about football, you can see that Barnsley clearly dominated the game. Mm. Um, you know, it 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 would have it would have it would have shut out from us, and we, we played. Uh, you know, I'm not just being boasting because it's because it's my team. We were a better team by by a mile. We were mm. last night. We were a better team by a country mile. Um, and for him to come out and say that, I just think it's a bit deluded and a bit disrespectful to his to his fans. I uh, think also it plays as well because on Radio it, Sheffield, he more or less named named a couple of players that he weren't happy with. We're having a bit of an argument with as well. I'm thinking. Mm. I think it's got to be because it's, 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 it's either now or in very near future, isn't it? Because yeah. you could see wind have gone out them, and and uh, like you said, they don't want to get getting stuck in in League One, don't rather them. So if they want to be trying to push for for promotion, I think they've got to move on. Mate. Change the yeah. yeah. Good week, hey, good start to weekend. Sorry, uh, two note. Oh, it's, it's it's a win against the Yorkshire rival, so bragging rights. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. I know you always do. Uh, we've both gone for Georgia Gentis man at match be interested to know your thoughts about the game your man at match the score you know if any like I say any Robin fans let us know your thoughts about the current situation regarding Steve Evans be interesting to read up on them as well uh, true you know Robin fans will always like call it out like us Barnsley fans it's yeah, always cool. unscripted always unedited we just call it as it is call it how we see it uh, Ryan Babini Tack as always it's been a pleasure mate uh, good thoughts and good good talk. Uh, the only place you can originally find it. One thing left to say, you Reds.